now, though, the Brickyard is during the daytime, and IMS officials are expecting about 100,000 fans will turn out for this big race. Our TV6 anchor Jenna Coy joins us now with what fans should expect. Jenna? Well, IMS officials are hoping fans can expect a good balance between safety and convenience, and that means you'll notice some changes from the last big race back in May. The crowds are starting to build at the Speedway for the Brickyard 400. But IMS leaders are hoping crowds don't lead to lines like this, like we saw in May as new security measures caused people to wait way too long to get in to see the Indy 500. There's no easy solution to that. Uh, I honestly don't know what they can do to improve it. But Speedway officials are trying. For the Brickyard, fans will find seven more entry gates than in May, more than double the lines and more than double the staff. And fans themselves can help move the lines along, sticking to the cooler rule, just one per person, the maximum size of 18 inches by 14 by 14. Still, you won't get around the track as fast as this, but the changes should speed up the process. You know, nowadays you want to make sure everybody's safe and you've got to go to these extra, um, extra steps to make sure people keep safe and everything. And, you know, if it's waiting an extra minute, it's all worth it if, you know, you're going to have sa be safe. Everything has a learning process, so, you know, we'll see what happens this time around. And, and I'm sure then they'll, they'll learn from that and even fine-tune it more for next year for the 500. And arriving early to the Brickyard should also help cut down on your way to get into the track. Gates open at 7 a.m. tomorrow and 6 a.m. on Sunday. Jenna Coy.